morning, Copy Basin. Today is Wednesday, April 30th, 2014. I'm Brandy Myers. And I'm Tristan Stowell, and this is CBTV News at 9. On today's show, we'll be talking about a possible college campus in Blue Ridge, the baseball and softball games, and a robbery in Rhode Island. Now let's get started. I got all the answers to your questions. I'll be the teacher, you could be the lesson. I'll be the preacher, you be the confession. I'll be the quick relief to while you're stressing. Blue Ridge could have a satellite campus for the University of North Georgia in the near future. The Georgia House Speaker said that Governor Nathan Dill will soon sign a budget that contains funds to plan for additional campuses across the North Georgia region, and Blue Ridge would be one of them. The University of North Georgia already has campuses in Watkinsville, Gainesville, Cumming, and Dahlonega. The plan would include a campus in Blue Ridge, but it's important to note that it is only in the planning stage. Fannin County has seen a number of campuses come and go, but this would be a bigger commitment that will serve an area that doesn't have close access to a state university campus. Now let's go to Tristany for the weather. Today, showers and thunderstorms are likely this morning. There is also a chance of them in the late afternoon and highs will be in the mid-70s and winds are 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight so will be mostly cloudy with a low uh, with a 20% chance of showers. The lows will be in the mid 40s. Tomorrow will be mostly sunny with highs in the 60s. And tomorrow night will be partly cloudy with lows in the 40s. Now that's all for weather. Thanks for the weather, Tristany. Now let's go to the color guard video. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to perform and go to all the football trips for free while having fun? Join Color Guard, the tryout star in May 19th through 22nd. See me, Courtney Brawley, for questions and details. Color Guard tryouts are May 19th through the 22nd. Now let's go to Tristan for the sports. Softball games yesterday were canceled due to the weather. The baseball team has a game tomorrow at 5 at Grace, and the softball team has a game on Friday at, against CSAS. It's home, so come out and support your Cougars. And that's all for sports. Providence, Rhode Island police arrested a man who allegedly wielded a potato disguised as a gun during a robbery attempt last week. Reports say that the 34-year-old man was arrested on robbery charges. Authorities say that he pretended he had a gun when he demanded money from the convenience store and dry cleaner. The convenience store manager chased off the man with a baseball bat, and the dry cleaner employee gave him a fake $20 bill from the decoy register. It's also reported that the man broke into his sister's house on the same day as the potato incident. She told police that he took a purse, a debit card, and $100 in cash. Speaking of potatoes, let's go to Tristany for the lunch. Do not use your food to rob people. Now for lunch, in line one, we'll be having chicken fajita wrap, fruit, milk, and juice. And in line two, we'll be having chili crispy toes, fruit, and milk, and juice. And for breakfast, in line one, we'll be having pancake on a stick, milk, and juice. And in line two, cinnamon grams, milk, and juice. That's all for lunch. Cause all of me loves all of you. Love your curves and all your edges. All your... Your books are on sale for $55. $55. Spring pictures are this Friday, May 2nd. The Brady Singleton Bingo is this Friday at 7 here at the high school. Please wear a Superman shirt this Friday in support of Banky. Speaking of Ben, you can buy a t-shirt to benefit his family for $15. They look like this. See Miss Smith or Miss Hook. And there are a few scholarships available in the guidance office. Cheerleading tryouts will be next week. Awards day will be next Friday at 2. 
The Starfish Award has been given to Mrs. Youngs. Happy birthday to Coach Rollins and Cody Bum. And now it's time for the word of the day. <clears throat> Today's word of the day is doctrine. Doctrine means principle. The Mon Monroe Doctrine helped expand the borders of the United States. And now a word from our sponsors. There's strong, and then there's army strong. It is not just the strength to obey, but the strength to command. Not just strength in numbers, the strength of brothers. Not just the strength to lift, the strength to raise. Not just the strength to get yourself over, the strength to get over yourself. It's more than physical strength. It is emotional strength. There is nothing on this green earth stronger than the U.S. Army, because there is nothing on this green earth stronger than a U.S. Army soldier. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Find out more at GoArmy.com slash strong. Robbing people with potatoes. Would you ever do that? Now, I, I no, but I understand a potato gun, but not a gun is a potato. Oh, oh, yeah, you shoot th them. Yeah, huh. yeah, I get that, but why I would get you that, use an actual potato? Potato. It obviously didn't work if you got chased off with a baseball bat. Obviously it didn't. I would run from a baseball bat, too. <laughs> Buy the t-shirts. Buy them. $15. They, Miss Smith told me that they will come in by Friday. I already ordered mine. You need to order yours. And wear a Superman shirt this Friday. Superman. Let's all support Ben. I have to go buy one. I don't have one. That's all the time we have for today's show. We'll see you tomorrow on CBTV News at 9.